Hi, I'm Chris Bockegaard, Director of Engineering for the Metro Flood Diversion Authority. It's going to be a busy year of construction for us, and I, along with our partners, would like to give you a preview of what's to come. Hi, I'm Virginia Regora. I'm the Western Area Engineer in charge of federal construction with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The summer construction season began with the first of the large tainter gates arriving at the diversion inlet structure. In coming months, those gates will be assembled and installed, and a second set will arrive at the Wild Rice River structure. These gates will close to control water flow when flooding begins. We also recently awarded bids for four projects that will begin this summer. Work will begin on additional mitigation projects for wetlands and fish passage, and construction will begin on the third and largest of the control structures, the Red River structure. We will complete work on the first stretch of the Southern Embankment and begin work on the next stretch while continuing to raise four miles of I-29. And there will be a lot of visible progress this year. Hi, I'm Nathan Borboom, engineer for the City of Fargo. The City of Fargo continues to complete our in-town flood projects that will work in conjunction with the overall FM diversion. This summer, we are working on our last levee project within the Woodcrest neighborhood. In addition to the levee projects, the city will also be completing four storm sewer lift stations throughout the city. These lift stations are an important part of the overall functionality of our levee system. Hi, I'm Katrina Nyberg with the Red River Valley Alliance and ASN Constructors, and we're just getting started. We've been busy building our team to break ground on the 30 mile long diversion channel. It will divert water from our communities during significant flood events. As you've seen, it will be a busy year. All this work will move us even closer to permanent flood protection in our area by 2027. 